how am I gonna stop somebody? What do they like to do? I was getting into the heads of the player I was playing. My whole thought was make them scared of me. Whether it be if they beat me off the dribble full court, I was coming from behind. So I was trying to find a way to like just really outsmart you, like really mentally more than physically. I think a, a coach told me young in my career that uh, make a mark on something, be good at something. And I realized that defense is something you can do every day. Every night, every game, every wood of practice, offense comes and goes. Your shot misses, your shot, you know, doesn't miss, but defense is something you can do every day. So I, I thought I committed myself to get in shape and to be as scrappy and as intense and not letting my players score. That was, that was my philosophy. Everybody in America teaches your kid to catch the ball foul and extend it. But can we keep her to catch the ball? The higher out we can make her catch it, the better. And it's not hard to do. It's, it, we can be lazy and sit back here in the lane or we can make her catch the ball out high, right? Okay, and that's why I make her catch. Now, right now, what I'm doing, I'm noticing my post is definitely got her back to me. So now, can I go help the post? Can I help my player? I, I she's completely turned her back. Now I, I'm taking a chance here because she could, if that player went here, I'd, if she went lower, I would have been in trouble. But she doesn't kick it out. I steal it or she mucks it up or whatever. Screen. This is super coming off a d d double staggered, and I'm on her hip. I'm in her face. I'm up and under her. Um, I am, I'm smothering her. She, ha she has no dribble. I mean, she has a dribble, but look how she put the ball in a place where I, I know she can't dribble. So that's really good defense right here. Now, I'm forcing her baseline, and then I'm cutting her off baseline. And I get the rebound, and I go. Okay, so here I am. So now, the big thing is what? See, this is another thing that same as I'm always saying. Look how high I'm making the reversal pass. Now, most coaches would say, go back door. I'm just not letting her catch it. This is not a very good shooter who I'm playing. It's Teresa Witherspoon. I just know the name. So now, now, once again, what happened? The post player turned their back on me. So what am I doing? Instead of just being a, a you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make a read. Look, I'm saying, okay, she's not going to ever find my girl. You said you gamble a lot. Some coaches don't like that. But I think this clip, is a representation of if you gamble and miss, you better get back quick. And here's a, a real good example. Like you gamble and you kind of miss it, but you get back. Just walk yeah. us through one. Yeah, well, the, for that, that process is the thought is, well, there's two, two things. I mean, a lot of coaches say you better, if you're going to go for that steal, you better get it. If you don't, you're going to probably be on the bench. My thought was I might not get it, but I'm certainly not going to hang my players up to dry I learned early as a point guard, always played point, that I was gonna I was gonna gamble, but I was always gonna find to get back. So you weren't gonna ever be able to how do you say this? Hold that over my head. Like I was gonna show you, like, ooh, I'm not gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get to my my player without causing my team a problem. Um, so I when I say I gamble, I think I, I take pretty good odds, like my odds are higher than most. Post player turns her back, they're not going to find my player. They're just not going to. They're not going to. They're, well, I don't want to say they're not good enough, but for the most part, they don't see me coming when they turn their back. Their back's completely to me, and I need to know where my girl is. So it's an awareness on the court, and it's, um, it's a confidence that you take the risk because I know what's going to happen. They're gonna, they're, I'm going to come out of the game. <laughs> I noticed that she wasn't even looking at my player, and I decided I'm going to help my post player. But I have to make sure I get the ball where I can recover to the other girl, right? I obviously got the ball. I stole it right out of her hands. She didn't even know I was coming. What can I do to help? Most of my stuff is help. It's not like this great all-in-the-ball defense that I know I'm known for, but, but it's like once the ball's out of my player's hands, I'm not stopping playing. A lot of kids think, oh, Somebody throws the ball to somebody else, they, they stand up. Like, I can't tell you how much video we have of that, of those kids just standing there after the ball's, like, thrown to the weak side of the court. They think their job is done. And yeah. I think 
what this shows is that I don't stop moving. I'm annoying. I'm a, like she said, a pass. I'm, I'm annoying. <laughs> <laughs> next, next situation, full court pickup, active defender. I'm down with her. I'm down. My hands are active. My hands are active. My hands are, I'm, I'm look, got the ball, dove on the floor. And I'm not reaching. I'm just active hands. And she might have missed dribble, but it doesn't matter. I was I was active enough to get onto the uh, on the floor. Now, once again, I get beat here, but I don't stop. You, you can see I get beat here. I, I dove from behind and I hit it off her leg. It's just a matter of um, that. I don't know how to teach. I don't know. This girl made a screen, but okay, I got hit. What am I gonna do? Not give up on the play. I'm not giving up. I get hit by a screen. No one tells me. And I'm coming from behind because I, and I dove and she kicked the ball out of bounds. Can you talk about that concept for a second, Debbie? The concept is if your girl beats you, why can't you come from behind? Most people want to stop. I'm thinking, Jack, but I'm not, I'm thinking there's two ways to look at this, Kyle. I'm going to run through her and steal it or I'm going to poke it to my teammate. Um, if I was better, if I was quicker, I would have ran through it and stole it, but I wasn't. I just did the last thing I could do. Is that's, very, die. that's very humble of you, Debbie. You, you literally dove head first there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but it's just what I did. <laughs> yeah. If I was a better player. You got to have some guts too, Kyle. You gotta, if you want to do this, you have some guts. Right? Right. You have some guts. Okay. Here is, is okay, post players bringing the ball down. How else can I impact my team? Okay. Okay. Boom. Right there. I'm not going up. I'm staying low, right? That's Lisa Leslie, I believe, if anybody knows who that is. So she brought the ball down. I think it is. But anyway, my point is I'm, I'm waiting for her because most post players do this stupid thing. I, I say that. I'm waiting for her to bring it to my level and rip it out of her hands, at least annoy her, you know? Make right. an impact. How could I make an impact? And it obviously annoyed her. So that's a that's a a really good thing for a, particularly small guards. I'm not going to jump up there with those post players. I'm going to stay where I need to stay. So I scored, and now I fall down, of course. So now I get up, but my my thought is angle right here. This is an interesting point right here, right there. Okay, she should. It basically beat me, I guess. I'm thinking the angle to the bit, to the sideline. I am going to cut. Yes, correct. I mean, cut her off and then cut her back. Then cut. If I could cut her off high and then cut her back to the the the, the, the midline because they're two they're two defenders for me. Why? Thinking, why not just run straight down? Oh, because she, you're going to give her all kinds of room to think. So why not think to get to that? That is that is that a T? What is this? Sears. What's that T? Is that a T? Where's the T? Right there. Why not there? And it's, the, the closer she gets to the basket, the more dangerous she is. Nice. Yes. Nice. And then, then I have the side, I have the, bait, I have the a midline to, to, to cut her off again. You see? So it's all about angles. I'm thinking, you can see where I'm thinking. I think you can see where I'm thinking. I'm thinking, I'm going to cut this, this girl off and, uh, and, and then make it go back. I don't want her to see anybody. Now, I didn't cut her off. It's quite it's where I wanted to. But now, she needs to think about me. She needs, because now I, I'm, and she's not even, she turned her back. I won. I won that race. I fell down. I made a laugh. I fell down. I still made her think about me. They don't even get a playoff. And now I'm psycho. As you can see, I'm jumping up and down like a nut. We can see it, because I'm, 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 I'm hyped. I'm hyped, and, and it's a psychological move, basically. I'm going like, well, catch them all again. Like it's a psychological move. Like it's, it's eighty percent is mental in this game. I'm I'm making her think about me. <laughs> are you saying Are you saying you jumping up and down is a psychological move? Yes, absolutely. I'm going like, ha ha! I just fell down and I got up and I stopped you and you threw the ball out of bounds and here I go. Watch me. Like Watch me. And so I'm, I'm. That's why I'm jumping up and down because I'm being a, a nut because I'm thinking I, I'm hyped and they think I'm crazy anyway. Everybody in this league did. I wanted them to think I was crazy, and it's a mental, it's just a mental part of the game. And and I was crazy enough to stay in that kind of shape to do that kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So 
that's that was that was why I was I was so psyched that I could get there and and still fluster this kid. I don't know which one it was. It it just seems to be that way, <laughs> taking a hit. Or, but it's always like it's always um, energetic and always spicy and always annoying. You know, all I cared about was winning and how to help my team win, not about anything else. You know, I don't know if there's a loose ball. I thought you're supposed to attack it. <laughs>